Thursday. It's Thursday. So Tuesday night, I had my follow up for my blood pressure check. And once again, my blood pressure was really high. <coughs> it was 168 over 104. That's not good. So su she suggested that I get a blood pressure cuff and monitor it at home and see what it's like at various times. Um, you know, maybe check it when I'm at work. Um, you know, different things like that. So I got the blood pressure cuff last night. So this morning, uh, we took my blood pressure and my blood pressure this morning was 133 over 106. The 133 part's better, but the 106, that's not. That's not good. So I was doing some reading and some research on ways to help lower your blood pressure before opting for um, medication and one of the things they said is flaxseed so I used to always take flaxseed I would take a teaspoon in the morning and a teaspoon in the evening like a clockwork that was also back when I was walking on the treadmill every day and watching my diet now I've gotten <coughs> back into, you know, the old bad habits of eating crappy, not exercising, and I stopped taking my flaxseed. So we're going to turn that around and we're going to, I started last night back eat, um, having the flaxseed and the flaxseed that I take it's the ground the whole ground flaxseed so basically it's like almost like a, um, it's not really a powder it's but it's flaxseeds that are all ground up so I just take a teaspoon I put it I put it in my mouth and then I swallow it with water you got to be careful doing it because sometimes the little pieces get stuck in your throat and make you cough but so I'm getting back into that because I got to get that blood pressure down I don't know if any of y'all have any thoughts any ideas of other ways to lower my blood pressure I would really appreciate any advice um, yeah so I'm just going to keep monitoring it. I'll watch it. I'll take it again tonight when I get home. It's usually higher, um, I feel, after work, after a day at work, because, you know, I get stressed out at work and whatnot. So, I'm going to take it again tonight when I get home. I'm also going to start back on the treadmill tonight. I got to get in back into the treadmill walking every day. I got to get back into doing it every morning and every night. Because that's what I used to do. And I was at a really healthy weight and I didn't have problems with my blood pressure. I do feel sometimes like I get shortness of breath and like I get the rapid heartbeat sometimes anyway but that's that's when I'm anxious I get that when I'm anxious shortness of breath rapid heartbeat that all comes with anxiety I know that anxiety sucks it's really not fun and it really wreaks havoc 
and you know people who don't get anxiety who don't have anxiety they don't understand they just they'll say to you oh well you know just don't let it bother you don't you wish it was that easy to just say oh I'm not gonna let it bother me it doesn't work like that anxiety it's just you, you, you can't just say oh well I'm not gonna be anxious today and there are a lot of factors that um, factor in to being anxious um, and then there are some times that I will feel anxiety and I have no idea why like it'll just be like why I, I, I feel anxious today why am I anxious I don't know like today right now I feel a little anxiety maybe because I'm talking about my blood pressure and the thought of my blood pressure being so high gives me anxiety yeah so it's not fun mental health is very important and anxiety is a mental health disorder I wish I didn't have anxiety I wish I could just go through life feeling carefree like nothing bothers me but that's just not how I am slow it down people the speed limit is 20 miles per hour see that gives me anxiety people who drive like jerks although it's really funny when I'm on vacation Anxiety, anxiety is not a thing on vacation. Ed and I had a talk last night. We talked, well, we talked briefly about it. We've talked about it multiple times. Um, probably within the next year, year and a half, going to scale back at work and um, talk to Christine about cutting back to part-time. Maybe doing like four days a week, taking Fridays off. Um, and then eventually retiring. I'm going to retire early because health is more important and spending more time enjoying life is more important so I don't know maybe 55 which is a year and a half from now I'll go to part time and then maybe 56 I'll retire I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes um I mean, obviously retire in the sense that I'm not going to work anymore, but I, you know, you don't get any retirement benefits or whatever. Um, but we'll see. I don't know yet. I mean, for sure I'll retire early. I'm not going to work until I'm 67 years old. I mean, that's just not going to happen. That's another, what, 14 years? No. No. I worked on 67 that'll bring Ed to like 79 and he wants to enjoy retirement too we want to enjoy retirement together and do things and enjoy our time together so and another thing that makes me think about that is um, I followed um, Jenny Apple. Um, her YouTube channel is called Jenny Apple. Her name is actually Jenny Appleford. And <clears throat> sad story, 
really sad. She, um, she married the love of her life. Then they had two children. And shortly after her second child, her daughter was born. She was diagnosed with non-smoking lung cancer. I'll link her channel down below. It's, I mean, it's, it's sad because she passed away last week. She was only 36, almost 37 years old. Her child, her children are still, I mean, her, her son is five. Her daughter is four. Just really sad. You know, makes me think. Enjoy, enjoy your time while you're here on this earth. Instead of being devoted to working nonstop all the time, enjoy your time with your loved ones. Because, you know, tomorrow is not promised. So we should all enjoy our time here. So anywho, yeah, I say that as I'm driving to work to sit and bust my butt all day and stress out all day because that's what work does. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love my job. I've been there for 25, going on 26, no, 25. 25. No, it's 25 years this year, December actually. I'll have been working there for 25 years. I like my job. I like the people I work with. Just some of my customers can stress me out. And that is, you know, obviously not good. But we got to do what we got to do until we don't have to do it anymore. So on that note, about to pull into work. And as always, I appreciate you riding to work with me. Again, if you have any tips on lowering my blood pressure, I'd be thrilled if you would post them down below, comment down below. And yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.